so these past couple months have been like just a roller coaster just up and down and up and down and and I've had so many wonderful blessings but I've also had some struggles and some trials and so I was a little overwhelmed yesterday with some of the you know just things that were coming at me and and something that I realized this morning as I was reflecting on what I could do better today was that uh I needed to count my blessings and so I started to just go through you know the different things that I'm grateful for and I was like holy moly like that's it that's where the struggle is without gratitude it's it's hard to be joyful because the opposite of gratitude is ungrateful and usually being ungrateful comes from uh, I mean so many different things heaviness opposition you know going through the fire depression sadness all these different emotional distractions to keep us from being grateful right to have a cheery heart and so I found that in my experience when I'm not focused on those things that I'm grateful for I'm not in gratitude then I start to go on autopilot, like I just go through the motions, right? I check this box off for the day, I wake up, you know, get ready for the day, plan my day, but that plan is not really a plan, it's just a list of things to do, right? It's, it's nothing to be excited about because I'm not in a state of gratitude. But shifting into gratitude or shifting into that grateful mindset, um, this morning has been amazing. So as I was talking to the Lord, I just started telling him, you know, all the things that I'm grateful for. So there's the obvious things, right? A roof over my head, the food that goes into my bodies, uh, or my body, the, the, the health of my children, the very existence of my children and, and my loved ones. And then I started to get a little bit more specific because just things started coming to my mind. Like, you know, I'm grateful for this opportunity that you gave me to uh to learn and grow from and and so i started to see the beauty in the trial um and in the trials because it was through shifting from being defensive having a defensive mindset because uh, you know you're feeling like or i was feeling like i was being you know attacked not you know personally attacked although personally attacked but it was just a mountain of opposition coming from our adversary, Lucifer, right? And, and as he was hurling his, you know, whatever's at me, you know, there are times you get off balance. And, and that's where I was, I was off balance and just so, but I started to see as I expressed my gratitude for these specific situations, I started to see the beauty and the purpose in it all. Um, it's not easy to have charity for people, right? But Paul in 1 Corinthians 13, he talks about this charity and, and what it means to have charity. And he talks about how you can have faith to move mountains, but really that's nothing if you don't have charity. So as I started to, to consider the things that I'm grateful for and talk to the Lord about these experiences that I'm having that are causing me pain um and then i asked him I, I said you know i'm thankful for for charity like you've been teaching me all about charity and what it means to stay in charity and to be charity so that i mean you can't give what you don't have so in order for me to give charity to others i have to have charity for myself so then i started to tell him how grateful i was that he was helping me understand that i needed to be in charity for myself and this is ultimate self-love, right? It's loving myself because of who my father is, the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and that was just like, aha, uh -huh, right? Like I've been sitting here wallowing and, I, and really I should have just said, get behind me, Satan. And actually I was, I was like, you know, casting him out and stuff. But then it's like I would invite him back into the front seat because I would stay in this mode of feeling attacked or vulnerable or weak, but I'm not because I'm a son of God and you're not.
because you're a son or a daughter of God. I mean, we can be, but it's all a deception, right? It's a deception that Lucifer uses to try to captivate our minds so that we're not in charity or in love with ourselves because of our love and being in love with our Heavenly Father. All right, the two great commandments, to love the Lord your God with all your might, mind, soul, strength. And the second is like unto it, to love your neighbor as you love yourself. We can't give that love out if we don't have it, right? So for that, I'm grateful. And as I was learning all these things, I was in the shower, and, and that's just how it works a lot of times. That's, you know, very focused environment where, like, the water's coming down and hitting me. And, and, and it's just a good place for me to, to, to be with my thoughts and to still my thoughts and to communicate with the Lord. And so the key takeaway, I think, from this whole experience is gratitude is everything. Because a grateful heart will seek after the Lord to express that gratitude to the Lord. And as we express that gratitude to the Lord, it's like, He's grateful that we're being grateful. He's like, thank you for seeing the purpose in this stuff. And then he, and, and, and it's like our awareness of his love increases in those moments and it stays with us. So once we're more aware of his love and we're feeling his love pouring into our heart as we're pouring out our heart to him for the things we're grateful for, it's just a beautiful, you know, uh, flow of energy from heaven to our heart and then back. And then it's just, it's becoming one. And so I think about how the Savior walked and talked, right? Like when he went up to, to, to raise, Lazarus, or rise, <laughs> raise Lazarus from the dead. Um, and, and every time he performed a miracle, he always said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Or thank you for hearing me. Right? He expressed his gratitude and then he went out and did the things that he did. So I'm just going to make that choice today. And I challenge you to make that same choice, to find gratitude in the simple things. And I testify to you in the name of Jesus Christ that if you will look for the gratitude and count your blessings, you'll get even more. That's just the way that it works. It's, uh, it's a beautiful uh, reciprocity. And as we, that, that love and that gratitude is just reciprocated, consider, how you feel when people say thank you to you and when they're genuine about it. Right? Are you not just more grateful to be in their presence? Aren't you just a little bit more excited about spending a little bit of time with, with, an, with, with a grateful person? And, and, and if you have something that they need and you can give it to them just because of their graciousness, don't you, don't you just feel inclined to share with that person, whether it's time, resources, or whatever? Now, magnify that by a number incomprehensible to man, and that's how the Lord feels about our gratitude for this experience that he's blessed us with. Not so that we could walk perfectly, but so that we could mature in our journey. I've, I've, I've really tried to internalize that concept of perfection not being equivalent to flawless, but for me, perfection is equivalent to maturity, to be matured. So as we mature and, and dive deeper into our intimacy with Christ. I just know that gratitude will deepen that intimacy, strengthen that relationship with the Lord, and just be so healthy for your mind. I love you, and I hope that you have a ton of peace today.